Welcome back. We're at the circus. And we're a little girl, but that's not what we're mentioning, right? We got some fuel to learn how to breathe fire. It says rubbing alcohol. Ew! Smells like clown breath. And we also got this area. for the squid squash. Which might be able to help us win some tickets. Alright. Whoa, those don't look too safe. And they look very creepy as well. Spooky. Yeah. What is going on here? Spooky. Can't really see it very well from here. They get closer. Wow, they have games. Ring toss. I'd like to try. One ticket, if you please. Oh, I don't think I have enough tickets. Beat it, small fry. This ain't no charity booth. All right, we don't have tickets, so we can't play the games. This game looks easy. Do I have to shoot a real pig? I doubt that. Wow, they have games. I'll take a shot. One ticket, little missy. Oh, I don't think I have enough tickets. Uh, hit the road, cheapskate. All right, I think that's going to be the theme here. We we'll probably need to use our free pass first. This game is neat. Knockdown. All right. Looks like you just need to knock down the pins. Seems easy enough. This is Squid Squash what, that we have a ticket for or to a pass for, I guess. I've never heard of this game before. I've never heard of this game before. It looks like a like a mallet game or something. Neat. His arm is a fishing pole. Um. Okay. Not what I was trying to look at, but sure. Impress your friends. Can you knock down all the pins? My name's Sarah. What's yours? Well, I'll be. Antonio wasn't crazy after all. There really is a customer. My name is Carl Rice, but you can call me Ishmael. <laughs> I operate this squid squash game. If you're Ishmael, then should this be a whale instead of a squid? Squid squash? How do you play? Oh, it's quite simple, little girl. It's a test of might. After you give me your tickets to play, I'll give you the anchor. You heave it up, and then squash the squid head here as hard as you can. That will send a blob of ink up its tentacle. The higher it goes, the more tickets you win. Why do I need more tickets? You need them to go on the rides, of course. All right, fair enough. What book are you reading? Is it a comic book? What? This is a classic, young lady, not some piece of trash. It's the epic saga of a man obsessed with killing a great white whale. Oh, that poor whale. No, no, no. You're missing the point. The whale is the manifestation of all earthly evils, and the man's pursuit is... The... Oh, forget it. Okay. I guess it makes sense that he'd be reading that if he wants us to call him Ishmael. May I play, please? Sure, if you have three tickets. I have a squid squash pass that Mr. Baldini gave me. That's good enough. Here you go. Look, I have some game tickets. We have three tickets now. Which we can use on the other games, I guess. Also, apparently, to get uh, to uh, get into some rides, we haven't seen any of those yet. Wow, they have games. Let's see if we can play them now. I'll knock them down. One ticket per throw. I have enough tickets. Give it your best shot, little girl. Try not to hurt yourself. Ha ha ha. Oh, poo. Holy moly, 
What a wimpy toss. Take a powder, little girl, and let the men through. Um, that was disappointing. Let's try it again. I'll knock him down. One ticket for throw. I have enough tickets. Give it your best. Same di same dialogue. Calling all sharpshooters. Prove your skill. Wee! <laughs> Holy crap! What an arm! You busted up my pins! Look, um, I have some game tickets. That won us some tickets, because now we have four. Even though we used two on this game. I guess it won us three tickets. Also, it knocked the pins down so hard, one of them is over here a now. A bowling pin! A bowling pin. That could be useful, I guess. Let's try all the games. I'll take a shot. One ticket, little Missy. I have enough tickets. Keep your eyes on the pigs and your finger on the trigger. Hmm. Wee. <laughs> hmm. Nice shooting, eagle eye. All right. Looks like we won. Look, now we have I six have tickets. Game tickets. Didn't get anything else from that, though. Let's try the ring toss. Calling all sharpshooters! Prove your skill! One I'd ticket. like to Buy try. One picture. ticket, if you please. I have enough tickets. All right, little miss. Give it a try. Whee! <laughs> She's good at these games. We have a winner. All right, now we have eight tickets. No more games to try, though. For now. I don't know if there's more elsewhere. Can we talk to him more? No, just play more. But I'm done playing. Let's go down here. See what we've got here. Looks like there was um, a merry-go-round or something. It looks fun, but the animals scare me. There's gotta be a way. A way to do what? To get on here? I guess. The lever. This must be for the merry-go-round, but it's all rusted up. Oh, poo. All right. Guess we'll need to fix that somehow. That kind scares me. My name's Sarah. What's yours? I'm Libby, master of the art of fortune telling. My cards contain the hidden secrets of the cosmos. Neat. Do you know any lottery numbers? Ooh, can you tell me my fortune? Certainly. Let me consult the cards. Ah, yes. This is very interesting indeed. Ooh, what do they say? The leering face of death. Oh, no, my dear. The face of conspired against you and our planning your demise as we speak. <laughs> what? That's terrible. What will I do? Oh, sorry, my sweet, sweet child. But there is no escape. The cards never lie. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, upon closer inspection, this appears to be the Joker of the deck. Uh, I used it for a closer last time. It sort of blurred the face. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Um, well, if Sarah uh, is going to die of a disease, then maybe he's more right than he thinks he is. I wonder what this is. The wagons don't look like very comfortable homes. He looks like Mr. Potato Head, put together wrong. All right. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Stuart Limkin, my good child. A purveyor of earthly oddities, if you will. A peddler of the perverted beasts that lurk in the shadows of your mind. I am a collector of freaks, and 
I humbly welcome you to my monument of monstrosities. Okay, it's a freak show. Wandered into American Horror Story here. Where do the freaks come from? Does it really matter, child? They have been assembled here for your entertainment. Kept safely behind iron bars so you can observe at your leisure. Okay. Can we go in? How many tickets to get in? A mere five tickets. Half of ten, and one less than half a dozen. A small price to pay to see what few will encounter in the space of a lifetime. All right. I've heard that one of your freaks got loose during the flood, and now he's eating everyone who goes in the water. The forces of Mother Nature are not mine to wield, my girl. During the Great Calamity, Iggy took the opportunity to free himself from the shackles of man and returned once more to his watery domain. Who am I to judge this misunderstood creature? Okay. Well, he's literally eating people. I think we can judge him for that. Anyway, it needs five tickets to go in. Um, and we have eight, so Look, that works I out. Look, I have some game tickets. Thank you. Now, step lively, little girl, for the gallery of the grotesque awaits. And now we can go in. Freak Beach. It says Freak Beach. That's a funny name for a beach. I wonder if this is where Iggy lived, considering the broken bars. Let's see what other freaks are here, I guess. The wagons don't look like very comfortable homes. I guess they don't. It says freak the wagon. Oh, there's one. I can't tell if he's a man or a big dog. Or both. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Timber. Go away, kid, before I eat you. What a terrible thing to say. I was just being friendly. If you want to be friendly, release me from this damn cage. Um, you just said you would eat me, so I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I just love that Sarah is just completely unperturbed by anything that goes on here. Takes it all in stride. If I let you out, you'll eat me. You said so yourself. Promise. I, I promise not to e if you let me out. How could I trust you? You look like you'd eat the first thing you get your hands on. Uh, no, not you. I, I want... I smell bones, uh, sweet scent of marrow, uh, driving me mad, uh, I'm starving, uh, I want out, will you lead me to the bones? You can smell bones? Where are they? I haven't seen any on this entire island. Buried. Deep uh, underground. I can smell them. I can. I'll dig them up. Gee, I don't know. Uh, please, kid. I'm dying in this wretched cage. Uh, I need out. You know, on the one hand, I feel sorry for him. This cage doesn't seem very, you know, comfortable. On the other hand, the last person who escaped here killed people, so. Why doesn't Stuart just open your cage? Doesn't he have a key? Uh, key lost. Uh, damn Stuart lost it. Uh, need to pick it open now. Okay. I guess this is the lock. But there's no key, we need to pick it. 
And we don't have anything we can do that with. Maybe that needle from the tattoo guy, but he would not let us take that. There is nothing else over here. Someone broke out of this cage. Or something. Or I guess that's the one that Iggy came from. I don't think I can go there. Okay. Um, you can't talk to him about the wolf man. Now, did you just put that back up? How many tickets to get in? A mere five tickets. Half of ten and one. Alright, I guess he wants more tickets if we want to get back in again. That's kind of annoying. They are fairly easy to earn, though. Let's try to get back above five, save some time later. May I play, please? Sure, if you have three tickets. I have enough tickets. Splendid. Here you go. <laughs> All right. Um Okay, now we have 7. Look, I have some game tickets. Um I don't know if the game actually ever lets you get to 0. It never happened to me. Let's try it again just to have some spares. May I play, please? Sure. If you have 3 tickets, I have enough tickets. Splendid. Here you go. Oh, poo. Alright, well that failed. This is still the fastest way to earn tickets, I think. May I play? This game. Please? Sure. If you have three tickets. I have... Splendid. Now we have eight. I want a few more. May I play? Sure. I split. Oh, poo. Oh, come on. You're making this way too difficult for me. May I? Sure. I have split. Oh, poo. Okay, now you're just being annoying. May I? Sure. Uh, his tit. All right, I guess we have to play something else now. She's being very helpful. Can I play? Is your memory a short? Yeah. Guess we can't play this one again. I'll take a shot. One tick. I have enough. Keep your up. Try it again. Shot. One ticket. I have. Keep your eye. Step right up and oh, poo. Only one ticket. Great. <laughs> I'll take it. One ticket. I have. Keep your eye. Hmm. Wee. Hmm. <laughs> nice. All right. How many do we have now? Five. That is kind of the minimum we need. I'm going to um, save game. Do this the old-fashioned way and save scum. Turn to game. Let's try to ring toss again. I'd like to. One. I have. All. Oh, poo. Oh, come on. Sorry, doc. I'd like one. Uh, all. Wee. 
We have. All right, now we have six. It's not going very fast. Calling all sharpshooters! Build your skill. I still want more. I'm gonna try that squid squash again, but save game with the saving strategy. Turn to game. Sure, would be helpful if the quick save quick load worked here. May I? Sure. I. Wait. Ah, uh, ten tickets, that's actually enough. That's how many I need, I happen to know. You actually need only ten tickets total if you, um, don't go into the freak show before having what you need to free him. Uh, let's see what's over here. If you do it the way I just did it, you need fifteen. These houses look so sad, like they're going to fall down any minute. They sure do. Just look like they're made from a bunch of rubbish. Hey, another kid! My name's Sarah. What's yours? Wow, another kid. That's swell. Even if you are just a girl. My name's Sean. Are we the only kids here? Yeah. It sucks. I get real lonely all by myself. I don't have anyone to play with. If you're so lonely, why don't you go to the circus? There's lots to do there. Mama says I can't. She says the circus is for evil folks. And they brought the flood down on us with their sin and ways. That's silly. How could they have? I don't know. Mama knows the best. I'm with Sarah here. Do you always obey your mama? Most of the time. What do you mean, most of the time? Well, I snuck out and went over to the big top one night, even though mama said not to. It was pretty boring. Most everybody was sleeping, except the strong man, who was writing some sap of love poems or something. They were pretty bad. I remember one went like this. Oh, Inferno, you make my heart burn out. <laughs> Okay, it sounds like the strong man has a crush on Inferno. Is this section of the island your home now? Yeah, if you can call this a home. It's just a bunch of cruddy shacks. Where's all the other families? Me and my folks are all that's left. There used to be a lot more, but they kept disappearing. Eaten by the squid? I hope not. What's happening? No one knows for sure. We think it's that monster. Monster? Yeah, that squid thing. My dad says it's just a matter of time before it gets us all. Oh, I don't want to be eaten. Yeah, I can get that. An oil can. Oh. Hmm. An oil can. I don't know if there's oil in it, but if so, it might help us with the uh, rusty lever. Aw, oh, he looks so sad. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Me name is Colin O'Leary and me wife here is Martha. What happened to the town? A flood. The old prospect dam just beyond Grandview Point finally burst after years of neglect. How did that happen? It was just sort of forgotten over the years. Uh, we knew that it needed repairs, but we took it for granted. Thought it would last one more year. After all, a town only has so much money to spend, and other things always seemed to be more important at the time. I guess we were wrong. What happened to the rest of the town folk? Most of them were killed in the flood. A few survivors, like me family, came up here to find shelter. Where are they? I don't see anyone but your family. We're all that remain. That squid thing has been picking us off one by one. That does not sound good. I guess these are his parents. But how can it? We're high up from the water. 
Since it's been in the open water, it's grown to almost triple its original size. At night, sometimes, I've seen its long tentacles probing the ground, searching for us. Can't you do anything? I am afraid not. We're all doomed. I met your son. He's nice. Ah, uh, Sean? Ah, he's a good lad. Although I wish his mother wouldn't baby him so much. All right. She must be cold. Guess so. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Where'd you come from, you little imp? I haven't seen you around here before. I just arrived here. I don't quite remember how, though. That's a convenient story, isn't it? Bah! Heaven help us, the sinners are breed and mar their kind. They're as evil as the rest of those godforsaken freaks. I already don't like you. I'm not a freak. I'm just a little girl. <laughs> don't fool me, you little devil. I know the ways of Beezlebub. You can alter your appearance at will. Why, you're probably in league with the watery abomination that's killing us all off one by one. That's one hell of a leap of logic to make. Abomina... What? Oh, stop pretending as if you don't know, you wicked little specter. I'll not fall into your web of lies. You're kind brought about the damnation of our town with your vulgar display of profanity. I met your son. He was... Stay away from my child. Or up here, you like a potato, you ratted fiend. I don't care if you drag me down to the eternal pit of hell, but I'll be damned before I let you harm one hair. You know, between this and the preacher in the town, I get the feeling this game doesn't like religion very much. Your husband is a very nice man. Husband? You mean this doppelganger? Bah! He's not my husband. Then why are you standing here with him? Don't smart off with me, you poisonous serpent. You know as well as I that if I were to turn my back on him, he'd eat my brain like a grapefruit. Okay, well, you're just insane. You feel like you belong more with the people in the um, asylum than here. Can we talk to him about his wife? I don't think your wife likes me that much, Mr. O'Leary. Ah, she doesn't like anybody. Not even me. Ever since the flood, she's not been the same woman. I can't even have a civil conversation with her anymore. She's convinced I'm some sort of demon. He's oh, this so guy big over and here. round. I don't think I can... Yes, you can. Just walk. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Like I. Like I? Yeah, like I give a rat's ass your name, Sarah. <laughs> Do you like it here at the circus? Yeah, this is a real paradise. Maybe when I get done talking to your dumbass, I'll go have a martini by the pool. You sure do cuss a lot. So, what are you gonna do? Tell my mommy. Oh, dearie me, whatever shall I do? All right. He's not very nice. <laughs> that balloon looks silly on your head. Oh, does it? Thank goodness you were here to tell me that. Whatever would I have done without your keen powers of observation? You're mean. Shut up. Ah, uh, get bench, you little runt. This guy is very annoying, not just because he's rude, but he actually tends to kind of block the way over here if you're going around this way. Um, can I actually talk to Sean about his mother? No. Now we got the oil can, I kind of want to see what's, uh, what we can do with that. Um, merry-go-round though. See if that will fix it. An I can't do that. You can if I click in the right spot. Wee! <laughs> I can't go. Can we go on it. Wee! <laughs> 
That's a fast merry-go-round. Oh, poo. And it broke. But it stopped in a different spot and now it has created a walkway over here. Step on up to the sign, Twerp. Spanky will say if you goes in or not. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Throw this one back in the water, Spanky. She's too small. I guess we're not tall enough for this ride, and this clown seems very unhappy and also possibly alive. Guess he's unhappy because he doesn't have a nose. Funny, where's the nose? I guess this means this also needs five tickets. I guess he runs the fun house. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Oliver Tweed. And I may say that I have never seen so little as Sarah in my life. You're small, kid. S M all. <laughs> All right. Who's that clown on the roof? That's Spanky the Clown. He sits on the roof so he can see far and wide. Why? He's looking for the little bastard that stole his nose from the sign over there. Some little brat, who looked just like you, stole it in the last town we were in. Um, okay, so I guess this clown up here is the same one as the sign down here. And he wants his nose back. How many tickets to get in? It don't matter to you, runt. Spanky's arm was way over your head, so I'm straight. Come back in about three years. <laughs> hmm, well that sign seemed awfully lifelike, so maybe we can... Let us go. Uh, let us make it. Let us go in um, by giving it his nose back if we can find it. And it looks like we also need five tickets. But we have that, so that's good. Um. So we need to find the nose. We also need something to pick that lock, which is probably the needle. I think I want to talk to the people in the circus tent again. Maybe some of those can help us. We also got the fuel, so Inferno can teach us how to breathe fire. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have gone this way. Please let me pass. Oh god. Do not make me walk all the way around. I need to wait until he goes up here. Come on! Please? Alright, well, um, we have lots to do. Alright, please. That looks like I can get past. Yes! No! Oh, come on, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see if we can get past here and do all of those things on our to-do list in the next video.